in this macro, we are going to print employee salaries on a bank's checkbook. The check that I have selected is UBL. As you can see on the screen, the print area has been set so that it matches the uh, dimensions of the check. You can get this by some trial and error. And the specific view that you are seeing on the screen is from the page layout. So if you go to, uh, sorry, it is from the view menu. So if you go to view menu, and there you can see that the option page break preview is selected. If we select normal, it looks like the normal Excel sheet. But if we click on the page breakout preview, uh, it looks like this. So this is the area which will actually print on the printer. This area can be set using the set print area which is located in the page layout menu and then if we go to the print area so currently the the printed area is from column a1 up to m12 so if you want to set that area i have already set it but if you want to set it on another sheet um, let's clear the existing print area if i clear it and now let's go to normal we don't have the print view here now let's set the print area again so i'm selecting the uh, range a1 up to m12 and then we go to page layout print area and i click on set print area so what this does it adds the this specific area to print. We can confirm that from the file print and you can see that this area is set to print. Okay, so this is our first step. We set the print area in this process. The print area matches the exact size of the checkbook. And we get, just like I said before, we get this right by some trial and error. Okay. The uh, print preview, uh, like I said before, is with the page break preview. So let's uh, clear this out and work in the normal preview. So I'm clicking on the normal preview. Okay. On the check, um, on any bank check, we, ta we write these basic information. Um, we write the existing debt. We write the person name to whom we pay. Then we write the amount in figures and in letters. So the amount in figures and in amount in words. So this is all we do. Uh, we write things when we want to uh, write a check. So the check printing is done on a separate sheet. But the employee salary, is, let's say, is given on the employee sheet. So let's say we have how many employees? 273 employees. And each one of them has 
some specific amount of salary which we want to write on the print uh, on the check so how can we do that so the setup is the first step that we need to take in this specific process is to set print area which we just did our second step is to have the functionality of converting numbers to words sadly in MS Excel we don't have any function like this so we have to install one from the internet so what I mean by that I I mean to say that when we have this specific amount here it should be written in words so 47,000 only should be written here in words so how can we do that we can do this using a user written function so I'm going to Google and search this specific function on the internet so I'm typing spell number <coughs> and I'm typing Excel the link from the support Microsoft Office convert numbers into words I'll go into this one and the process of adding this specific function to MS Excel is given here actually it is the same thing pressing alt and F11 button it will open up the Visual Basic Editor then we will insert a module and then we'll copy paste the following code and add this to actually we have to copy it all it's a lengthy function okay so it ends here end function copy I'm going to the Excel sheet then alt F11 inserting a module here and paste it I'm seeing this red color here so uh, I pressed delete button so that it is now black if there is any such problem with your sheet it might break the code so here I am again pressing in a delete button so that it is no more red okay this specific underscore means continuation of the same thing on a new line okay so I pressed enter here actually it was like this before so if I enter here it turns black okay so now I close this function and here if we double click we get the amount in words so 47,000 let's say the amount is something else 45, 85, 9 so it uh, then prints the exact amount 458,743 dollars and no cents okay so this was our step two uh, for the date what we have to do is to type uh, 
function today. Open and close empty parenthesis. So the function, each time when we open this file, it will print a new date. So we don't have to type the date variable. Our next task would be to get the actual value of the person for whom we are printing this check. For example, the first person here is Nur Rahman and his salary is 208,000. So this is our next task to get this value on this specific uh, check. We shall see that in our next session. For time being, I would like you to have practice on this and post your problems if there is any. Thank you.